Going on to this next study, this is a, another kind of illustration of some of the effects of these kind of mindfulness interventions on our mental state. And I'm highlighting this in part because this is, I think, one of the just really well done studies that's come out recently. So this is a study that was done by Willem Kuyken and colleagues. It was done in the UK. Um, he is at the, the Oxford Center for Mindfulness. and. This is a large study. They had over 300 people in it. And what they were addressing is a really kind of major mental health problem, which is people who have developed major depression often get better with treatment, but are at high risk of relapsing and developing depression again. The question they were trying to answer is, what's the best way to prevent relapse of depression? Does it work better if you use medications or, and they were doing this as what's called a non-inferiority trial, do you get as good an effect if you take people off medication but give them something else? And that something else is something called mindfulness-based cognitive therapy. So um, it incorporates actually a lot of what's in mindfulness-based stress reduction but also involves more work directly with depression and involves some pieces of cognitive therapy, which I'm not gonna go into a lot, but is a little bit more standard psychotherapy for depression. So those are kind of woven together in this mindfulness-based cognitive therapy course. And what this is showing on this y-axis is what's the risk of, what proportion of people have stayed relapse free, have not had a recurrence of depression over time in the two different groups. So the top group is the group that got the mindfulness-based cognitive therapy. The blue line here is the group that stayed on medication. This was a non-inferiority trial, which means they were trying to make sure that this approach is as good as medication. And you can see it's actually somewhat better. Um, and their conclusion, this was not a really clearly statistically significant advantage, but it, it was getting close. So what this is saying is that mindfulness-based cognitive therapy is at least as good as medication, keeping people on medication for several years to prevent uh, relapse of depression, and it may be actually slightly better. So this is another kind of recent study, and it, I think the message from this is some of these kinds of approaches are effective, and they're, in this kind of example, probably as effective, possibly more effective than medication.